Hello! Let me show you a quick tutorial in WinDebug on how to debug a .NET assembly not found exception. Okay, let's begin. I have written an application that would create an assembly not found exception and I've put the source code on GitHub and put the link in the description below. You can get a copy of that source code if you want an application that intentionally throws that exception. But any application that is having an assembly not found exception will do. I'm going to begin by running the application. So let me switch to my console. So what you can see here is a console and I have my application console app one. It has a dependent library, which is an assembly and a missing library, which is also an assembly. This missing library is the library that is going to go missing, but I'm going to show you the exception uh, as we start. So if I run console app one, I'm going to get an unhandled exception system IO file not found, but it is going to say that the file that is not found is net standard version 2.1. There is no net standard version 2.1 here, so we are going to debug this executable to find out what exactly is causing .NET to fail loading. We start first by going to WinDebug, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the application in WinDebug. So I have it in my history that I've run this application already, so I'm just going to start it in WinDebug. And what WinDebug is going to do is it's going to stop at the initial breakpoint, at this point, as long as we have symbols, we can actually continue from here and it will show the exception. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run SX and this shows me the list of exception interrupts that will be trapped. What I'm looking for is CLR. It says here that CLR exception second chance break. This means that if I run the application and there's a CLR exception, the, the wind debug will immediately stop. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to press F5 to run the application and there we have it it has actually crashed on an exception what i'm going to do is i'm going to load by sos clr this is the uh, sos plugin i need to use in order to debug this um, exception then i'm going to run pe what this is going to tell me is that the assembly it's going to say file not found and the assembly net standard v2.1 was not found when this function was run which is dependent class do something so the next thing I'm, I'm going to do is i'm going to inspect the source code of this class to see what exactly happened to cause it not to load net standard version 2.1 all right let me switch to visual studio code really quick and let's analyze the function do something so the function do something is creating an object from missing class one and it's calling the method do something. Missing class one is in the assembly missing library one and missing library one is failing to load. Now I can click on the CS proj to learn about the dependence of missing library one, but I would like this tutorial to be about WinDebug and tools because oftentimes when assemblies fail to load, you may not have the source code of the assembly that is failing to load and it will be very difficult to spot why that's happening in the CS proj. Oftentimes in third party libraries, assemblies fail to load and we may not know why. So I'm going to use a tool called FuseLog to find out exactly why missing library one has failed to load. FuseLog is present um, in your computer in many Visual Studio SDKs and also in Windows SDKs. You may already have FuseLog on your computer if you have installed Visual Studio or any of the accompanying tools. I will leave a link to the Microsoft MSDN documentation on FuseLog. Um, there's quite, quite a lot to read in it. Um, but the most important thing is that you must run FuseLog as an administrator because it does need permissions um, that is well beyond a regular user. If you can't run it as an administrator, there might be other techniques, but I am going to run this tool as an administrator. I'm going to use a version of FuseLog that I already have on my computer, so I'm not going to download it. Let me switch to FuseLog. So FuseLog kind of looks like this. Um, it has a screen where it will show all the, um, the exceptions. What we want to do is we want to go to settings. 
um, we want to go to log all binds to disk and we want to put a custom log path. So let me do that really quick in order to ensure that uh, we have the logs. Then once we have set it up, what we want to do is we want to run the uh, application again. So I'm going to do that really quick off screen and press refresh over here. And there we have it. We have a list of all the uh, loading and we can click on each one of them and get a better description of what happened. Within Fuse Log, we are able to click on each of the uh, lines and we will get a description of the assemblies that are loading. Now we know that the loading for Net Standard 2.1 was a failure. So let's double click on that and switch to our view so that we can see the um, loading um, description. So let me just make the screen a bit bigger and we can see that Net Standard 2.1 up here, GAC lookup are, ne are not successful. We can see that uh, Net Standard 2.1 was uh, not successful in loading. So we know that this computer does not have uh, Net Standard uh, 2.1. And the calling assembly is listed here as missing library one. So we know that missing library one is the instigator that attempted to load uh, net standard 2.1. At this point, we know that missing library one is the instigator that created the exception. How we can fix this problem is that if we have the source code of missing library one, we can analyze the CS proj and try to determine whether net standard 2.1 is needed by missing library one, or alternatively, net standard 2.1 should have been installed on the machine before running the application. Either way, we have direct evidence that missing library one is the cause of this exception. Even though WinDebug said dependent library one, because WinDebug is getting the exception. WinDebug doesn't know that internally there was a exception inside the assembly not found exception. This is a common problem that happens in .NET where the exception comes with a name that says this library failed to load, but no other details are provided. Running FuseLog gives you details exactly what is the root cause of an assembly not found and a root cause of why it could not load a particular assembly. With that, I'm going to leave it here because I think this is enough information to debug assemblies not found. If you have any other techniques, definitely let me know. Uh, give me a comment in the comments below and tell me any other technique you know of trying to find out why assemblies don't load. I'm pretty sure there's a whole another field of how to figure this out. But this is the simplest technique that I know that you can do in a pinch to find out why an assembly didn't load. If you like this content, definitely give me a subscribe, uh, give me a like, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. It really helps me figure out uh, what kind of content to produce next. Uh, if you would like more WinDebug tutorials, definitely let me know in the comments below. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it here. The video is long enough. Anyway, I'm High Voice signing out.